Bonjour. Bonjour. <laughs> no. Time for bladder check. Check. So it's a show? It's a lifestyle. It's a religion. <laughs> My emotions! My emotions! I'm still French. Ouais, c'est pas faux. I'm a woman, Mary. I can be as contrary as I choose. Non, moi je crois qu'il faut que vous arrêtiez d'essayer de dire des trucs. Hello, hi, I'm Laura. I'm gonna watch Avatar The Last Airbender Season 1, Episode 10. 10. <laughs> I just watched the episode 9, if you want to see my reaction video about that, I'm gonna put the link. I warned you during the intro of this episode, of the episode 9, that I was not in a good mood today. It didn't change, you know, <laughs> my mood is not improving like that. Even if during the episode I was in a better mood, I was losing, I was enjoying myself during the first five minutes maybe of the review, I still had a good mood and all, I just watched like that, I saw that it was raining again, that my issue that I have in my bedroom with water entering into my bedroom is not gonna change, it's not gonna improve and that's gonna go worse and worse even if I did everything right. If you want to hear that story really, I took the entire intro of the last episode to explain you what is happening, what issue I have and why I am so mad because I did my job and my homework by warning everyone quick and they didn't do their job by not warning the person who is supposed to come to repair that. So instead of just having water in my bedroom during what, two days maximum? No, I'm gonna have water in my bedroom during more than one week And maybe, you know, after that, I'm gonna need to repair stuff which are gonna be in a bad condition because of that. Again, I'm trying to, to calm myself by telling to myself that this is just a little issue, that there is worse in life than just that, that it could be worse already, just that, but still, I have a roof, I have an apartment, I have water, I have food. I'm in a good, you know, else. I have friends, I have family. I need to come I'm not as impulsive than what maybe some of you think, you know. <laughs> I know that I can be really emotional and because of that, This issue is playing with my anxiety and with my emotions but still I don't want to lose my time and my energy to be mad at this person who didn't do their jobs and I'm gonna just breathe and try to calm down and I'm gonna take everything little by little. First, we need to repair that. Then I would think about what we have to repair because of that thing being not repaired on time. Step by step. <laughs> This, I was gonna say anime, no. Those of you who commented on my first reaction videos that I posted to you on YouTube told me that it was not an anime, it was a western animation, western cartoon, so I'm gonna try my best to not say anime but animation. This animation can improve my mood, I know that, it already did it during the last episode, the episode 9. I, I need more, you know, I need more than just one episode. Thank you really for your comments on these two first videos. I didn't know that you were gonna be so enthusiastic, you know, with me binge watching a show which is out since a long time, which is already finished and all. I really didn't think that you were gonna be so enthusiastic like when I binge watched all of Battlestar Galactica, which is a show which is out since a long time and which is already finished. I had some new viewers but not that much and not so enthusiastic, so present in the comments, so thank you really a lot for that. I really appreciate it. I tried my best to respond to most of you and all, so I hope that you're gonna stay there for all of this binge watching. It's gonna be fun, I really think so.
and also I'm repeating it right now you guys on YouTube you just discovered these two first episodes this week but you are already late you are at least one week late and I think that when you're gonna watch this on YouTube you're gonna be two weeks late from the ones who are watching my reaction videos on my Patreon posting these videos at least one week earlier on my Patreon and with an extended reaction part on YouTube it's an 8 minute reaction part and on Patreon it depends, you know, it's after the first editing I'm keeping everything that I have after the first editing it's sometimes, you know, 13, 14, 15 if you can be interested by that go check my Patreon Okay, about what happened during the last episode, we had water bending, we had Ang learning how to do water bending stuff. Not the good day, really. <laughs> not the good day to to annoy me. We had water bending with Katara learning stuff to Ang, but also with the water bending scroll and Ang is a fast learner, that's great. Katara was jealous about it and said really wrong stuff to Ang, but she apologized and that was understandable, you know, the fact that she reacted like that because she's really frustrated about the fact that no one learned her all of that. So that's great. That's really great that they learned all of that during the last episode because I have really little hope about Ang being able to learn all of that about all of these different powers, you know. Water bending, earth bending and fire bending is such a short time to go to all of these places now that we know that it's gonna take weeks for him to go to the other part. I have really a little hope for him being able to do all of that. My theory right now is the fact that maybe more than fighting with the Fire Lord before the end of summer, maybe they can find a solution for the comet. I don't know how, but maybe they can find a solution for the comet and then he's gonna have the time to learn everything that he needs to learn. <laughs> maybe. Because for me, if we are following that thing you know about the rhythm of the show ah of the animation for now the end of summer it's gonna be the end of this season one and you can't learn everything before the end of this season i have really traveled to see how it can work we'll see and we had also katara who learned that zuko has her necklace zuko tried to to make a deal with her with that like Ang for me your necklace for you no it's not working like that you can't deal human being an avatar who can save the world against a necklace even if we care about that necklace still it's a necklace you know I need to stop looking outside each time I'm... I wish that I can that I could be a water bender, you know, right now. A water bender? An air bender, you know, to, to take all of these clouds and boom, go away, all of you. Please stop raining, I need the rain to stop. Because that's already too long, that's more than 10 days of rain, but also because of that water issue, I need And I need to watch this episode to to help me with my mood. I know that during the episode I'm gonna be in a good mood. It's just the intro and the review which are out. <laughs> Let's go for this episode 10. That was not too noticeable. He's a gigantic fluffy monster <laughs> with an arrow on his head. I know you all want to fly, but my instincts tell me we should play it safe this time and walk. But I'm you're gonna lose leader. time! I'm the oldest and I'm a warrior. So I'm the leader. Aww. Such a teenager. You know he's a voice. I bet you wouldn't be so bossy if you kissed a girl. I've kissed a girl. You just haven't met her. Who knows? Walking might be fun. Walking stinks. Nah. Look, guys, I'm tired too. But the important thing is that we're safe from the... A trap? A trap? Is that even worse than a trap? Well done. 
It's kids. Now you know that is an airbender. Mm, I'm not sure why. <laughs> I mean, it's supposed to be nice. It's supposed to be, you know. I'm sorry. Fire Nation killed my parents. I was only eight years old. Sokka and I lost our mother to the Fire Nation. I'm so sorry, Katara. Come on, he seems to be a good guy. The Duke dropped down on his helmet and rode him like a wild hog monkey. Hmm. It's making me think, you know, of Peter Pan. He's great. He's the Avatar. I could use some more training. So I might know a way that you and Aang can help in our struggle. Unfortunately, we have to leave tonight. Come on, stop, Laura. It's nice. Why are I think the worst each time? Wait, yes. Someone's approaching. How many? I think there's just one. False alarm. He's just an old man. Oh, he doesn't care. Please, sir. I'm just a traveler. Oh, fight soldiers. Not all of the people in the Fire Nation. Does the Fire Nation have mercy? Jack, he's just an old man! Yes! Have you forgotten that the Fire Nation killed your mother? Remember why you fought? Fire Nation soldiers, yes, army! This doesn't feel right! And because the Fire Lord told them like... Come on, Sokka! I really see the Fire Nation as a dictator. He beat and robbed a harmless old man! I want to hear Jack's side of the story. He was an assassin, Sokka. <laughs> see? There's a compartment for poison in the night. He was sent to eliminate me. I didn't see any knife. That's because it was really? concealing it. I believe so, Carl. The Fire Nation is planning on burning down our forest. If you go to use water bending and fill the reservoir... You're jealous that he's a better warrior and better leader. Katara, I'm not jealous of Jet. I was right to not fear no, Jet, you know, too. Not to blow the dam until I give the signal. <laughs> Where do you think you're going, Ponytail? Who do you think that you are talking to like that? plan is to rid the valley of the Fire Nation. There are people living there, Jack. You can't win without making some sacrifices. You lied to Aang Katara. What? Because they don't understand the demands of war. I was hoping you're not freeing not. anyone if you're and killing you these choice. people. You're not freeing them. You can't do this. Cheer up, Sokka. We're going to win a great victory against the Fire Nation today. By destroying people who are not from the Fire Nation, who are not soldiers. I'm glad he pulled off. The water is trying to escape from these vents. I need you guys to help him all. I've never used bending on water, I can't see. You can do this. Oh, please! Yes, good job. You two keep it up, I'll go check on things at the reservoir. No, no, no. It's well, to we occupy you. Well, we finished early. I'm sure he'll be happy to see us. No, he won't. But please go and quick. Follow his sense and things always turn out okay. Huh? If that's how Jet leaves, then he's got a lot to learn. Hey! Yep. Why would they need blasting jelly? Because Jet's gonna blow up the dam. What? No, that would destroy the town. 
Yes. Jet wouldn't do that. Come on, you don't know the guy. Not for so long. Think about what the Fire Nation did to your mother. We can't let them do that to you. The Fire Lord who ordered it to his army. Where's Sokka? Katara. Katara. You're beginning to be really annoying, Jet. But I'm wondering, you know, even if Ang managed to save the situation just right there, what about everything that Jet and his group can do after that? I'm sure that is not the only one who is thinking like that. This fight is really well done. You know, I mean by the writers and the drawers. The drawers. Oh, you can do that, Katana? Oh, fuck. What are you doing? He's giving the orders. Maybe he won the people? No, we, we don't see anyone. This was a victory, Katara. Remember that. Sokka! I warned the villagers of your plan just in time. What? At first they didn't believe it. But one man vouched for me. The old man you attacked. Oh! He urged them to trust me. We got That's great. Time. We could have freed this valley. Who would be free? By killing them? You traitor. No. Yip yip. You're brave and I love your values. So come. Your instincts told you. Hey, sometimes they're right. Um, Saka? My instincts were right with Jet. Sometimes they're wrong. I love the fact that it's Sokka who just saved the day, you know, who just saved the situation. He needs also his moment to shine a bit more. Like Katara, she had her episode with this episode with the Earthbenders which were in jail, you know, on that ship and all. She was the center of this episode. We learned that she was brave, that she was making good speeches, that she wanted to motivate people, that all of that, you know, about her, about her personality and how she's reacting and all. So I'm glad that we had a little about Sokka during this episode. It's not enough in comparison of what we had for Katara, it's not the same, it didn't have all of the place of this episode like she did during us, but still it was great. Because yes, sometimes it can be the funny character, the one that we want to lose about, the one who is coming with the funny lines and they are not trusting him so much like you know when he <laughs> He tried to guess what was the name of that king when he was trying to 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 to, <laughs> to say or to do stuff and he turned wrong. So I can understand why they are not believing into him, but they shouldn't do that because Sokka is good for them. They are lucky to have Sokka, to be there to protect them, to be there for them, to take care of them sometimes. And right there, he had really the place to show that, to show that when things are going wrong, they are lucky to have Sokka. He's brave, maybe sometimes he's doing wrong stuff, but at least he's always trying to do the right stuff. That's at least the third times that I'm saying that since I met Sokka. And that's what counts, you know, at the end. The fact that he's trying to do the right stuff. Right there, trying to... to fight against Jet's people, to not have this town destroyed and all. That would have been illogical, you know, to do that. That wouldn't have been realist to have Sokka fighting against all of them and winning at the end. It was better, it was right to go to the village and to tell everyone what was going on. 
So I'm glad that he managed to save all of these people. But we learned during this episode that we have some people and that logical also, you know, who are in the resistance, who are trying to, to do stuff against the Fire Nation. That's great, but right there, Jet's group was representing the extremes that this resistance can do with considering all of the people in Fire Nation as the enemy, even civilians, and we are considering that doing everything against the Fire Nation can be okay, even if it means destroying stuff, entire cities, even if it's not Fire Cities, and killing people, Fire civilian people like other ones like they unjustify the means but i'm not even sure that it's like that it's worse than that they killed some of us so it's okay to kill some of them even if they are not involved into that war even if they are not fighters even if they are just civilians even if they are the victims of this war that's really wrong but that's the extremes that some people can do. I mean, that's realistic, you know, the fact that people in the resistance, they are not all white, you know, like they are not all doing the right stuff and doing everything right and they just want their revenge and sometimes they are doing extreme stuff like that and they are doing wrong stuff like that. That's logical. That things you know that happened in real life. Even thinking you know about the World War II and resistance in France, a lot of people did a lot of good stuff you know into that resistance, but sometimes it was also extremes and sometimes they hurt people who are not involved into the wrong stuff during these actions. Do you understand what I mean? That's logical and realistic but still it's rough and it's an important subject and it's a complicated subject for the ethic, for what it means, the consequences of all of that. That's complicated and rough. If you think about it, really, if you are going into all of what it means, that's wrong and at the same time you can understand the reasons, that's really complicated. But what Jet did during this episode was wrong, for sure. Trying to kill people just like that, who are not involved, not even a minute and all, that's so wrong. I knew that something was wrong with that kid. Even if I tried to fight that instinct, like, come on, don't think like that, I knew that something was wrong. Okay, I'm gonna stop right now this review and it's all for you for today, but not for me, I'm gonna watch at least one more episode. So it's all for you for today, and it's all for me for now, so bye for now, bye! Wait a minute, why am I dark? Uh, are you telling me that you built a time machine? Great!